Mr. Like Beharp, Mr. Like Lamau, I gotta play against freaking Schroeder. Whoa, that that was not something I expected. I did not expect her to grab the ledge like that. Might be. All right, Corn Olimar. I don't know a ton about this matchup. I would assume that Corn wins just because she has the zone break tools against Olimar with pin, um, that and that's it. Um, but Olimar's camp game on Corn, I feel like, has to be pretty decent, at least from long range, um, and. Olimar's combo game is really strong. Corn doesn't really have a way to match it. Granted, uh, Olimar has tons of ways to. Uh, well, Olimar doesn't have great ways to gimp Corn, and Corn can definitely edge guard Olimar super hard. So, I'm gonna imagine it's gonna come down to can Googs get that grab at the ledge at like that 70 to 80 percent range to get that down throw bear and finish the stock. Ooh, the bagger at the very ledge. Still not enough to get it. No two frame coming out. Googs very known to try and go for those two frames. Not going to grab it there. Easy air dodge past the dragon fang shot. Going to recover the ledge. Get up attack there with the surprise. Getting the pin out of shield. No edge guard here. Going for the down air right there. I don't know if I agree with that decision. Trying to get the stage back right there. Wow, the read on the neutral get up with the charged forward smash. Good stuff to Aaron finishing up that stock. Got to be careful staying on this ledge. That's really not where I'd want to be if I was corn in this matchup. I'd be really hoping to get into the center stage. I know you don't want to deal with porn with... Uh, their invincibility frames, but you really definitely don't want to be on the ledge of the stage. That's where Olimar's most promising killers are going to be. Oh, he should be able to make this back still. Unless he gets dared, like, dang, Aaron. The heck? Nice kill right there. Not bad, not bad, my guy. I'm impressed. Go ahead and update the score. We got 1-0 Weasel. Hopefully Jumbo Jack and Junior Z heard that I don't want them playing yet. Alright, we got the Battlefield counter pick after the FD strike. Or ban. Same thing. Whatever. Who cares? Lemon banning Lilat. What a shame. I feel like Peach could be so good on Lilat while JK. Alright. And we'll get into this game two on Battlefield. Interesting counterpick of Battlefield. I don't know why this would be good for Olimar in the matchup, to be honest. Um, I really... It's so hard for me to think of uh, what Olimar's good stages are, to be honest. I don't understand the character all that well, besides the fact that he, he camps and he throws Pikmin and all that stuff. But um, And Corrin, of course, a much more straightforward character. So maybe it is just a... Maybe it's just a... Um, comfort pick, you know? It could be. I wouldn't be too surprised by that. Going to get the stage spike here. No tech right there. Definitely a super hard thing to tech. You have really no idea when your opponent's actually going to throw that out. Um, and on Wi-Fi, it's basically impossible. Caught him with no invincibility on his recovery there, so that was kind of free. And now he's getting just bum-rushed here. If I was Aaron, I, I wouldn't be asking for advice after this set. I'd be asking, uh, Goops, do you still play this game? <laughs> Not really, no, because uh, this is just, I think, how the matchup should go in this situation where Korn gets in and it's really hard for Olimar to get her back out. That's kind of what I feel like should be happening. Oh, Gooks didn't get back to the ledge. Went a little too deep. So we're going to be 2-0 Aaron still. 2-0 to the weasel. Don't know if we'll get a change in stage. Same ban. 
Let's see, it's corner of the passion. I believe that. And BK wins 2-0 over Ed. But says good fox. Well done, BK. For your sportsmanship and for your victory. It's going to pick Lilat. Um, I think this could be a strong counter pick. Um, I am still not convinced completely about the idea that Korn's great on Lilat as Spearwing is. Um, I still think it's I think it's a decent stage with her. But I'm not sure if it's her best stage like Spearwing thinks. And I know that uh, Aaron isn't quite as comfortable on Lilat as Spearwing is. But the shield's gonna pop and they're gonna get into it. I don't know exactly what uh, he's gonna be doing. I feel like the camp game will be stronger here. He can uh, kind of abuse the stage's uh, tilts to run away a little bit better and toss those Pikmin out. That would be my expectation. With the arching projectile as it is. But Korn's combo game, very strong, it seems. It's just those, that sword. Just going in everywhere. Gook's finally getting a couple of hits in. And really struggling to just maintain a firm foot footing on the ground. But the purple pigment really good for getting back on the ground. And starting to just set up a camping zone. So things looking pretty decent for Googs here. Going to get the down throw up there as Aaron DI's in. Probably the smart decision doesn't want to get hit by the uh, back air. This back air probably could have killed if it could have connected there. I'm not sure. And uh, with the lead here, I'm not sure if this matchup is quite as awesome for Korn anymore. Definitely uh, with the lead, Olimar's starting to tack up a ton of damage. And things are starting to look kind of rough for the weasel. Going for kind of desperate landing options. Oh, but the dragon thing, charge shot, uh, jaw thing, dragon, sh dra dra dragons, all the dragons. Uh, <laughs> uh, Going to do big damage and get the kill. And starting to get a little bit of a combo game going with the uh, pin to kick to up air thingy. So Weasel getting a little bit back into the game, but he's starting to get a little bit high in that percent. It's starting to look a little bit bloody. Looking for forward airs on that platform. Pretty good uh, striking tool. Pin, but no pin down. Jabs, hoping for the grab. I don't know if there might have been a back air follow up there. Or at least a 50-50 maybe. Forward smash out of shield is going to easily take that stock though. Yuma coming to a monthly anytime soon. It'd be nice to see Yuma back. It was fun to have them for the one tourney they were at. I'm getting a little bit sick of Kill the Kills OST. What's the report on Mex and Ronald? Jeez. Smash fills the ban. Of course, necessary to ban is Aaron has recently won on Battlefield with partial DSR. Executioner 1 2 1. Get that in right there. So we need to report on Lemon and Frenzy and Schroeder Asura. Schroeder Asura is still playing. Haven't seen the Lemon Frenzy report yet. Uh, what's the counter pick here? Oh, Town and City. There we go. Town and City, decent counter pick, even though he did lose. Did he lose on it? Man, Rest has such a broken hitbox. I don't know why people don't just play Jigglypuff all the time. Okay. So, what's Aaron got here to adjust? The 
Olimar, the Corrin. What's going to happen? Pink skin, Corrin, definitely Aaron's prefer preference. He's a man who likes the color pink. You know, because pink makes the girls wink, friends. That's the truth of it. Forward air to aerial pin. Not gonna get the stuff. Not gonna get the full combo there, though. Oh, big damage here! But the platform interrupting the combo. Goog's using his uppy very interestingly right there. I like it. Jabs popping out, but Goog's gonna pop out of the jabs. Wow, that that Pikmin saved Olimar's life. He was definitely gonna get caught by that dragon shot. I'm pretty sure. So Weasel trying to get in a little bit. Gets a little bit of combo game. Looking for another forward smash. Not going to find it. Corrin, it's forward air. It just seems so good in this matchup. As a combo starter and extender. Whether on a platform or just um, finding it on Almar on the ground. Lemon wins 2-1 over Frenzy. And Dragon Shot doing a little bit of damage. So, Zagoog's so looking a little bit damaged here. But he's definitely not out of this stock yet. It's a little bit of a forward smash. And got Aaron kind of on the ropes here. But doesn't really do much with his stage control right there. Down tilt. No air dodge. Forward smash. Jumps up from the ledge. Weasel responds with an air. Wow, the deep edge guard right there. Was that the forward air? But not going to be enough to take the stock. Oh, is he going to make it? Yeah. He's in there. Wow, waits for it and still goes in. Very aggressive from the Weasel. Nice mix-up. Biting up those Pikmin. Going to take mad damage from that white Pikmin, though. Dragon Shot going to load him back onto the ledge. Down air. Oh, not able to respond in time with the forward smash. I don't know if there was a faster smash attack in that situation. No air dodge. Weasel responding with the pin. Still no kill throw, no uh, blue Pikmin online, so probably not going to be able to get a kill throw here anytime soon. Kicking right through those Pikmin, of course, uh, Olimar's uh, aerials all have low priority due to the fact that he uses the projection. Wow, the deep pin! Drop zone pin right there from the Weasel. Very aggressive. And it looks like the aggressive play was what he needed because he pulled out that set 3-1. He's got to play Myron in his pool this weekend, so we'll see if he's got the adjustments. Going to be talking a lot to Googs soon, surely. 